this is Rick Asselt from exercisesforinjuries.com. I'm, I'm here in my, in my home and I wanted to go through the suspension star routine. And what this is, is this is a number of shoulder exercises that I end up doing with the suspension trainer in order to work on shoulder health. So in order to you know, activate those scapular stabilizing muscles, you know, activate those smaller muscles around the shoulder joint and around that shoulder blade. So looking at the rotator cuff and scapular muscles and challenging those muscles. So activating them, challenging them, working on the endurance and working on the strength of those muscles at different ranges of motion. And I find the suspension trainer uh, is a great exercise tool to use in order to really work on your shoulder health and shoulder prevention, shoulder injury prevention exercises. And this suspension star routine is something that I end up uh, doing and giving to my clients and doing on myself. So you just end up utilizing some sort of suspension trainer. For me, I have this Z trainer, which is a suspension training device from uh, Britain and so I just have it hooked up to my bathroom door um, and I've kind of set it to the height that it works for me and then I end up going through that shoulder star routine and what I'm doing is I'm taking the shoulder through various ranges of motion so it's, so some people might know about the I's, T's, and Y's, and this is kind of a variation on it. I'm utilizing my body weight, I'm utilizing the suspension trainer when it comes to doing the I's, T's, and Y's, but I end up doing a little bit more. I will end up doing I's, so straight overhead, I'll end up going and doing Y's, I'll end up moving and going to T's, and then I'll end up going and doing an N, and then I'll end up going uh, into like the end position of the eye. So I end up going through all those different ranges of motion. So with those different ranges of motion, I challenge those scapular muscles and the rotator cuff muscles at those different ranges of motion. I'm working on activation, I'm working on endurance, and I'm working on strength. So, so I'm sorry this isn't exactly the perfect setup when it comes to the camera, but this is the only angle that, that worked uh, in order to kind of go through the exercises. And what I'll end up doing is I'll just end up doing one repetition at each of those positions and I'll end up going through the circuit five to ten times. Now when it comes to... Um, I mean, the, yeah, I'm nothing more to add when it comes to, to the trainer, but oh, one thing I wanted to comment on was the angle, the, the slope that I end up having my body at. So the more upright I am, the less challenging it is. The steeper my, the slope, the more body weight that's being put into it, and the more challenging the exercise is. So what I'm gonna do is I'll end up going at a, at a small slope to go through the exercises. So I'm just grabbing the Z trainer and then I'm, I'll just end up going through the exercises and I'll try to talk as I kind of go through the exercises. So, so I just end up slowly and controlling going into that I. I'm slowly coming back to straight and then I'm going to go into that Y position, bringing myself all the way to upright and back down, doing my best to have those scapular muscles doing the work as opposed to my upper traps and my deltoid coming out to the side not exactly the best position but coming out to the side working on that T and coming back down I find the return ends up being important so I'm coming out to the side and then I'm returning back to the start so that ends up being the T that ends up being the N and then I end up going to that the reverse eye. So let's go through one more time. OK. 
Okay. So there you go. That ends up being uh, the suspension star uh, routine that I end up kind of going through in order to you know, work on that shoulder, work on shoulder health, shoulder injury prevention. The suspension trainer works really good when it comes to uh, doing that exercise. So end up giving it a go. If you end up having suspension trainer, give it a try and go through that I, Y, T, N, and that inverted I. So this is Rick Casells from exercisesforinjuries.com. Thanking you very much for joining me on this video. Make sure to give those exercises a go. And down below this video, I'll end up having a link to other articles and videos that I have when it relates to suspension training. So this is Rick Casells from exercisesforinjuries.com saying take care and bye-bye.